2002 Chevy Avalanche Z66 package <clears throat> um, The Z66 is the two wheel drive package It includes 17 inch alloys along with some suspension upgrades for the road the truck has that mean Chevy look on in the front Get out of the fog lights, some hooks. All the O2s have this uh, gray cladding at the bottom. <clears throat> nice little touches like these little chrome door handles. It has some neat little uh, step stool things in the bumper. Go into the interior. <clears throat> She's got the black leather, the Chevy embroidered emblem in them, a nice wide center console, lots of storage. I guess that's like a map rack, big old storage compartment. It has, I love this uh, setup of the cup holders place for your cups and the place to keep other stuff that just floats around and tends to float around your truck like your fries <laughs> has the uh, hidden mm. that's just a storage compartment I'm sorry just a little storage compartment another storage compartment as you can see it's already filled up this is the hidden Cigarette lighters, and this is nothing. <coughs> Up to here has the standard air conditioning controls. Aftermarket head unit with iPod hook up, but we're gonna ignore that because it's not a part of the truck. <sighs> yeah, glove compartment, standard. In the back, <coughs> more Chevy embroidered stuff back here. There's like a little tray, that's pretty neat. I haven't seen that a lot before. <clears throat> Two decent sized cup holders. These could probably hold a lot because they have these rubber tabs. You know, not like the shitty cup holders. Can hold something big or hold something small in here. You have more cup holders. Definitely a good amount of cup holders on this truck. A little bit of storage for knickknacks or whatever. Rear AC, vents pockets. Now back to the bed. It has these uh, storage compartments on the side. If I can get it open. I don't know how well you can see down there. There's a light. But pretty deep I'd say it's about two feet deep and two feet wide and six inches uh, long. And it's uh, drained at the bottom. So you can throw some ice and a couple beers in there. Only if you're touring, of course. Put the avalanche in the back and the Chevrolet. Raised letters. Rear gate locks. Pull the rear gate down. Comes with... Uh, uh, that's just a throw-in bed liner. But it's on there. All these panels come out. It can be done by one person, but I don't. This goes forward. Then you twist this thing, and the back flops down. And you twist this to unlock. Twist the other one. This comes down. Huh? This. And this comes down. So you have a full bed. Pull up here. Oh, wait. You have to put that, squeeze that. What? You have to squeeze that to get that hoony in. This glass comes out. And all those panels come out, but I'm not doing that. You get the idea, so if you need an open bed, all these come out, and you can go all the way up to the back of the front seats.
side notes it's <clears throat> it has the Z66 package as I mentioned earlier so um, that means that uh, the suspension is upgraded for the road and uh, it's a two-wheel drive package so it takes corners really well I had to drive it about an hour yesterday and it doesn't have barely any body roll and it's it's smooth riding as compared to the Z71 package, which is the 4x4 package. The motor is really, really quiet for a truck. Um, even having the small block V8 in here, still doesn't make much noise. I mean, as compared to, I drive a Chrysler Pacifica pretty much on a daily basis. That has a 3.5 liter V6. And that probably makes more noise than this. So the, the cabin noise on this is really limited. Um, it's, it's pretty quiet in here, as you can probably hear on the video. You know, there are some curves coming up here, and uh, just you know, I'm trying to see how it would handle going a little bit faster than normal. And. Like I said, limited body roll sticks to the road really well for a truck. You know, another thing I noticed about this truck right away is that for a truck, it wants to, it gets up and goes. It's not really lethargic when you step on the gas. I'll show you that here in a minute, but it's also uh, it feels really nimble for a truck. You know, not lumbering and all that junk. But I guess I'm just used to in terms of full size trucks driving so but now. I'm gonna do a little bit of a acceleration video for you guys. Not really much, but you can see that if you want to punch it, it'll get up and go. Uh, 